And Aunt his... Catherine? Isn't that Aunt Catherine? No, no I can't that's, say. that's Nelda. Nelda. No. This is Joe for, no, that ain't now to come. No, that's that, Winnette. That's Winnette. Yeah. That's Winnette. It sure is. And Joe Francis. Okay. And but Leona. see, there's Ma, Eliza. That's yeah. Ma. Yeah. Yeah, this is. But this yeah, was, I, I spelled this, but it's Mamie Perkins. But that it is, uh, that's Uncle I. No, it's this is it, Mama's got wrote on the back that this was IT's wife, well, Mamie, Mamie Perkins. That's, that's Mamie. Mamie. Mamie uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, see, I don't well, know. We got but, one of them, but I didn't know who she was. Okay. Uh, well, I'm Joyce Shirley. I'm Velma's oldest daughter. Well, that's it, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Yeah, Ma and Uncle Frank, and this is his youngest. That's Paul David. That was his youngest. Yeah. This is Edward, his oldest. This is Winnette. Yeah. And look, she looks like she's holding a chicken. Frank is quite a big man, isn't he? Oh, he's still he, is. And he's still big. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he's still mm -hmm. a big man. Mm -hmm. But anyway, and and really, look, Ma looks good. Uncle Frank looks good. Yeah. Now well, he come to visit Mammy, us, back when I was little with Uncle Will. Uncle uh -huh. Will brought me. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I remember about Uncle Will? He could stand right yeah, here. And that's yeah, that's how we remember that, that too. Do <laughs> you, know, you know, we've got him on, uh, that's mine. we've got that's him on mine. video and back, I mean, not, we've got him on a, was uh, eight millimeter movies. We've yeah. got him back in 1959. Is that right? Uh-huh. Sure. Elvis girl. Uh-huh. And there's Helene and her husband. Uh -huh. And then there's Grandma again. Yeah. Don't, yeah. Ain't that amazing? Yeah, I hadn't seen him. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No, I hadn't yeah. seen him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've got some really neat pictures of Maude Paul, but we had stuff packed and them, you know. Yeah. yeah. I just don't she remind you of Ma? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. We used yeah. Ma was so shy, like and but she liked to be teased by oh, some people. Yeah. Helen and Jesse. Uh -huh. If Jim would tease her and she'd just giggle, you know, yeah. just do that. That was my mom and dad. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then this is this is Sherman and Ma, like See, don't he remind you of him? Oh, yeah. I saw something that Helena uh, had last night. It sure does. My goodness. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Bernice always said he looked like him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boy. I called her. Okay. Bernice. Thomas, yeah. or used to be. I she, these were really good. Uh, Have you talked to her lately? Really? Yeah, well, not too long ago. I called her on the phone when we was going through Love Lady. Well, they wasn't there, so I left a message, and I said, I, I am Joyce Edge. Shirley's my name now. But I said, I'm sure you remember me. I spent my first night away from home the night that my sister was born, mm -hmm. and they sent me to Bernice and Carly, and they had just got married, yeah. see? Yeah. And poor Carly, he had to leave and go to another room, because now, I mean, I wasn't a happy camper. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I, so I put all that on there, and then yeah. I told her That's my funny. name, yeah. my phone yeah. number, yeah. so she called me. She did. Yeah, and she said she wants to come down sometime, and see, we've been in and out so much, because... Yeah. I told her oh, they should call, but she didn't oh, give her in there. Well, she said she drove. She yeah. drives by herself. We don't want to go by. They're wanting to go by there, so maybe you can give them directions. Yeah. I was going to ask Hick and Johnny. I'm yeah. sure they know. I don't know I exactly where they live, but I know yeah. that you go right straight up Highway 19 mm -hmm. through Look at the back of it. I'd send it and to And you come home. to Love Lady, and I looked her up in the phone book and called her. It's the way I... Well, what name's she going by? Uh, well, you call Kevin yeah, Thomas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because, see, she's yeah. living. They built living her a room on the back oh, nice. or something. So, uh, anyway, but I called... She was in the hospital <laughs> at that time. I thought they didn't give it to him. Well, it hadn't been too many... Long back that she came and seen Hick and Johnny. Yeah, I know yeah. she'd been seen uh -huh. him, but she never has come down. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, that's yeah. what. So I, I, so I've you never been. Uh, One nineteen, you say? No, it's Highway nineteen. 19, just nineteen. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, the lovely. What they're wanting to go on to Farmer's Field. Well, Oh, back well, yeah, so you that can go right be, on the yeah. hill. They won't be out of the way. It's not out of the mm -hmm. way. They could just take that route, couldn't they? Yeah, because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it goes, well, you can look at the map, but it's on yeah. Highway 19, and Love Lake is a little old bitty place up Is there. it? Mm -hmm. yeah, we can look her. It's I up stopped. there around Farmersville? Or oh, no, no, it's just out of Huntsville. Oh, okay. It's, um... She's in 19 out of Huntsville. It's, it's, it's not, not that far. Uh-uh. It's not that far. Huntsville, what, 75 miles? You remember? Yeah, I remember. 
Huntsville's about what, 75 miles, isn't it? Yeah, Huntsville's se about 75 miles from here. From here, yeah. well, that's not bad. And it's not very far. <coughs> but but when you get, okay, when you get to Livingston, you take 190 uh, uh, west. Yeah. And when you get into Huntsville, well, um. We're going west anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because normally you go up 59 and just keep going that, you know, veering over that way. But when you get on 19 in Huntsville. Yeah, you go to Love Lady. Go, you know, go to Love Lady. Go north on Love Lady. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry I don't have their phone number, but, I mean, her uh, address. Hey, Johnny had it. That's yeah. it, I'm sure. But I just looked it up in the phone book. Well, we can wait to kill Yeah. 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 Do you know That's what Johnny said. Uh, Johnny Hickle, I'm where they're at. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah they... They stay more. Yeah. I remember what we move around so much. Yeah. And uh, till I just come and go. You just you know? come in now, don't you? Yeah. 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 We see her on the run. Exactly. Yeah. See, she's on her she's on her run out yeah, today. That's well, how long are you staying then? Quite often. Where's <laughs> all? You live right around here, though. Yeah. I live on where we were raised. I got the opportunity to buy our old home place back over here, close to where the post office is. And the old house was gone and everything, but we put a 14 by 80 mobile home. We didn't intend to live there, but the way it's worked out, well, it's going to be our home, you know. So, uh, but we were all raised there. I was six, I guess, when we moved there. And and we lived there till, well, till after Daddy died. So. I couldn't remember against last night, but the actress had been a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. That was in 1990 when we came by there the first time, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Because we didn't have any names or anything. That was the first time. Yeah. Because um, after Uncle Will and Carly died, mm -hmm. <laughs> we kept in touch with them, but I, after that we didn't know any names of any of Grandma's people. Yeah. My goodness. Well, this is so, this is great, too, because um, mm -hmm. my kids, my son and his wife, they are just really into this. They just mm -hmm. got married three years ago. And they're into and, the history of the Oh, yeah, they? and they're trying to get everything they can on both sides, yeah. you know, because they want to be able to. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm starting, book. I'm starting a book, but I'm starting with Elijah and Rebecca Thomas. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to, I'm going to try to get, I'm just doing it just for not not to publish oh, or anything, yeah, but just for the family. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, I want to, uh, I'd get like to get some copies is. and get get everybody. Oh one. yeah, that. And it's not it's not a uh, fact, but it's just things that Grandma's told me, and I've just added little things. Yeah. Well, see, that's what he said. Did you know he wrote that family tree thing, and and he said that he had to embellish it a little bit. Yeah, that's what I did because. <laughs> I use dialogue in it, yeah. and you have to imagine what they say and yeah. things like that. But then Jim, last year, uh, my husband, we got all the information we could, like on the Edge family, because yeah. we had a family reunion, and he did a family tree back as far as we could. Yeah. And I told you we want to do one on our um, side, so that's why we're side. trying to. Uh, I can I can go back just one generation past. Elijah and Rebecca, that's as far as I'm going to go. Well, see, I don't know anything about that. See, Wilma wants to get grandpa, great grandchildren, and all that. You know, it lies his grandchildren yeah. and all that. The only way I knew anything about them was I, could, I heard Mother talk about Helena and I had talked to Wilma. Because Wilma, had, you had written Mother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, Mom probably had. His history. Probably okay. Had. But, but I knew that I had heard. I mean, I had heard of you, and Wilma Daniels. I mean, I, you know, she's, she had information I mean, from somewhere. <laughs> because I was gathering all that stuff. Maybe. Yeah, probably. probably when you was visiting yeah. Uncle Will, you might have contacted her Gathering all that stuff, yeah. But, See, you um, went and talked to Uncle Will, and he gave you uh -huh. a lot of stuff. But yeah. Mother wrote to, to Joe and... and uh, yeah. See, oh, I have a big picture. Of I wrote to them one, too. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you send Mother a picture yeah. of all... Joe sent a picture, a big picture of the whole yeah, family. Of the whole Joe's family. really into pictures. Is, yeah. yeah. He <laughs> loves pictures of anybody. If you just send him a picture, he's satisfied. Yeah. yeah. Well, because uh, I... Had, see, when Mother passed away, I got all of her picture yeah. albums. So I have... So you got that big I picture? I got that big picture well, of all... Joe sent it to yeah. me. Yeah. Because he said, well, I didn't have any the, the whole family. I just was. took my picture. Yeah. And sent it to her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, well, um... Uh, Mother's got a lot of pictures, but a lot of them don't have names on them. Yeah. See, 
and I don't know who's who. Yeah. I know it's some of the family, but I don't know who yeah. they are. That's now, why that picture she got there, I maybe had it, but I didn't know who it was. Mm -hmm. Well, now, well, when Edna comes, Edna can now you through. know who you yeah. better write on that. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. Edna just about knows who the picture is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and we have wrote on some of them. Mm -hmm. But, uh, well, um, sometime, you know, whenever we can, I'd love to get, because mm -hmm. um, Jim just printed all that up, I mean, back as far as we could and put it in sequence to get, and we handed them out. He had copies made. Yeah. And we handed them out at the family reunion to everybody that was interested mm -hmm. in one on that side. So I'd love to do it for us. Yeah. We, our yeah. side. When you do something like that, send us some. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe we can get some of the information from you, too, to go in yeah. that we don't yeah. have, mm -hmm. you know. So you'll have them. I've got a real, an old reel-to-reel, -reel, a bunch of reel-to-reel -reel tapes that Grandma talked on mm -hmm. she, where she was telling me a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And I need to take it off and put it on cassette. Yes. Yeah. I had some done, but mine had been boned around so much to late. It wasn't very good, mine. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, she told me what, uh, what kind of dresses she wore and everything. She's telling me that uh, that Grandma took her, Grandma Thomas took her to the the mill to sell some. Uh, I don't know if it's meal or flour or what it was. I believe it's meal, corn, corn to grind into meal, and and they got the money for it and bought her some material to buy to make a dress. Uh -huh. And she said it was uh, sort of a off white with the uh, pink and pink little pink flowers and green leaves on it, that's what oh, she right. told me. And that was her Sunday dress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she wore it for years, I guess. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. they wore it well, wore out, and yeah. then they used what was good of them to quilt their quilts with. Yeah. Because yeah. mm -hmm. I've got, I don't have many of Miles old quilts. Hey, yeah. yeah. Well, and it's just a little, they call them yeah. strange quilts. Right. Right. And I asked her, what kind of songs did you sing? What kind of games did you play? And yeah. all kinds of yeah. stuff like that, and yeah. she'd tell me. Uh, yeah, boy. I thought you got some of Uncle Will talking. No, I don't think I have any from Uncle Will talking. But now I've got Uncle Will there to... You got him got on him the on the, on the tape. See, right. our, old, our old movies we had, our kids had them put on VCR for us. Mm -hmm. There's just a little of Uncle Will. Will. There's just a small mm -hmm. amount where we had our family. Yeah. Well, we had a family reunion. Family reunion. Yeah. We had a family we, reunion. Well, when he came to visit once, we just got everybody together yeah. and had a family reunion mm -hmm. right there. Part of us taking the Laurel Cove, you know that? Yeah, we went to Laurel Cove. We had it there. We had it there. Well, and Bernice is afraid he's going to fall off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, hold him, Carly. He said, we need, he's a grown man. So <laughs> <laughs> and he had to go to the pinnacle up our battleground work. Yeah. 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 See, Grandma had taken us up on that mountain and showed us where they fought the Civil War battles where Grandpa Thomas was was in the oh, battle, yeah? and Grandpa Thomas fought for the North, and his brother Orville fought for the South. Oh my Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, yes, they mm -hmm. And the reason Grandma knew that he fought for the North was her mother made them clothes out of his old uniform, and it was blue with gold buttons. Yeah, well, my Lord. That's uh, why she <clears throat> can remember that. Well, you know, Mother used to make all of Amherst and Ma's clothes. By hand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I have one of the dresses that she had made for Ma. So the tiniest little stitches. So, um, you know, and Mother never could see. All of Mother's life, she was medically blind, you know. Yeah. And, uh, but she sewed and she sewed the prettiest little stitches, you know, mm -hmm. just. Yeah. And never had a pattern, I don't guess. Just. Mm -hmm. just Mother did. When we was growing mm -hmm. up, she never, and she used to make every one of our clothes. Mm -hmm. Of course, she, she dressed us alike till we got up. <laughs> Yeah, and she she said at times she'd get three dresses and she bought feed sacks to make them out of. I know, <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> over and over. <laughs> Aunt Phelps as well. Well, I, I was thinking we used to buy feed in sacks. Yeah. You know, when we on the farm, we we used to buy feed in sacks with it. They'd use the use the uh, feed yeah. sacks for something. Yeah, I can remember that when. Mother bought them. Your mother us. probably made feed yeah, sacks. Yeah, well, we used to we we had cattle and. See, this man um, over here did. So he would sell his feed sacks for a quarter of feed. Yeah, that's what this is. Yeah, got a four for a dollar. Yeah, and we all had feed big sacks. Old feed sacks. <laughs> he had drawers to match. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's a tip. She 
had one one time and said, I underpanned the sugar on it. Now they're popular, you know. Oh, that would bring go over. Yeah, underpanned the sugar yeah. right on yeah. our drawers. <laughs> Oh, God. But now, after we started to scope. Mm -hmm. You know, that was happy times, though. Yeah, we didn't have We didn't have but we enjoyed <laughs> it. Grandma said, said everybody was poor. She said, we didn't know we was poor. She no. says everybody had the same thing. I know. Well, see, I look back on it now, and I think, Lord, we didn't have nothing. You know? <laughs> no, nothing. We didn't know any better, so we didn't want <laughs> more. I don't know. Well, you used to. You know, when the real full skirts came in, I mm -hmm. mean, uh -huh. and he wore them starch petticoats to yeah. the stiff. They started, oh, gosh. <laughs> She'd go buy four of them, buy us four of those feed sacks. And if things was big, we'd put four of them in one uh -huh. skirt. You couldn't hardly carry them around the <laughs> stand. <laughs> <laughs> and you'd have to do some gathering to get out of there. She made everything. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I used to, when Sandy, my little girl, I made her feed sack dresses and any time. Well, sure. Them feed sacks were good material. Mm -hmm. <laughs> couldn't wear them out. No. But, Lord. <clears throat> no, I made mean, mother made her pillowcases out of feed sacks. Yeah. Well, your dish towel, everything went made out of Yeah. But her uh, pillowcases was made out of feed sacks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two cheats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just sew them together. Anything but fine. <laughs> He's trying to get these feet sacked. Feet sacked. Bring me anything here. No, I just, I just get a conversation. Yeah, the right on. Today, everything is. Ginger like says, that. write everything down. Oh, that's not a way. The children on somebody's drawers would be right in style today. Yeah, yeah, I know it. And flower on their dresses. Yes, it's you know, flowers. Well, I, uh, what, I, what was that wrote on that one I had on last night? I don't remember. J. Some kind of flower. J. M. Flower. Something flower. Yeah. yeah. But you remember when the, it's got the great big sunflower on yeah. it? You mm -hmm. know, when these yeah. came out yeah. here. And so Sandy had to have one. Mama, you got to make me one. <laughs> so Mama made her one. Mm -hmm. I don't. She wore it a time or two and it hung there in the closet. And one day I was up there and I got it out of the closet and brought it home. Started with wearing it. I had nothing yet when they got here yesterday. <laughs> and, but mine mm -hmm. is a most comfortable ones you can wear. Yeah. Uh, no, what we're going to do on the way back, I'm going to copy this video and give the, have it cop duplicated somewhere on the way back before we get home. You know, yeah. uh, we used to dye them. <laughs> we dyed your feet sacks. Dyed feet sacks. I don't know what they dyed them yeah. with. But, um, Hope berries. I don't know what they <laughs> That's what Grandma said they yeah. dyed them with. Well, Mother used to dye them, but, you know, she could get that Dye, yeah, she used to dye whatever yeah. color she wanted. She'd dye yeah. and make her curtains out of yeah. it. Winter curtains. Oh, yeah. Just the plain old feet. Grandma yeah. told me two things they used in the eye. Poke berries was one thing she said mm -hmm. they used, and I forgot what the other one was. She said. Oh, they used onions for yellow and, oh, yeah. and uh, walnuts uh, uh, for brown. Yeah, brown. but she didn't like that brown. <laughs> she told me that she wore that old brown dress. She says, I wore it to school every day. <laughs> Yeah, they were going to use the walnut to make the brown dye. Oh, my Lord. Oh. And onion skins to make yellow. And pork birds to make the red looking. Oh, my Lord. That was about all colors ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. All those <laughs> colors ago. <laughs> but can you imagine that? Yeah. I don't know. That was well, some things to remember, though, when you screw that. Well, yeah, but it'd be nice if people could go back to that time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't want to yeah. go back. Well, I sometimes I think I'd like to live back then. No, I wouldn't. Well, I'll tell you. When we didn't have no money. We didn't, didn't have money. But after nothing. you've had, after we've had the things that we've had and then go back, it would be hard. People just can't adjust anymore. <laughs> you can't. But that's why it's hard on I never, young people now. Yeah. I never thought I'd ever come back to think it. When I left here, yeah. I said, if I do anything, Put me in jail, do anything to me, just for God's sake, don't send me back to ticket. Now, I mean, I would like to. You'd like to get away. Mm. And for years, I didn't come back. No, we didn't see her for a long time. I'm telling you, I had. I we thought, still don't see her much, but we know, we know she's over there. And we, you know, we miss her when she's gone. We don't yeah. miss her when she leaves. Well, I'll be coming back. I'm close enough this time. I don't have to worry. Uh, uh,
the tragic tales in this land of tragedy, none compares to the children who are outcasts. Such is the case with former Paul Amina, a beautiful baby girl. Amina now lives in Croatia in a shelter for unwanted babies. Her father is a Serbian soldier. Many have made behind the chain her mom. Texas. Cleveland, Texas, at the um, I forgot Galaxy Manor uh, nursing home, and this is William Frank Perkins, the uh, son of Eliza and Joe Perkins. Okay. Can you read this right here? Grilled them. Bartender mixed pork chops now a dollar thirty nine a pound. Bartender bonus bottom round. Like a guy here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
Well, yeah. they come from Tennessee, but it's right on the border. Yeah, right on the border, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's Hickman's mama's sister's daughter. Mm -hmm. Daughter. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I've heard so much talk, Bernice has talked so much about each one that... Yeah, you it. look like Sherman. That's what to tell him. Yeah, you do. <laughs> tell me they look, uh, look yeah, I've like got his uh -huh. picture. I brought it to show you. Wow. Yeah, she brought pictures and you look at it and they do. He really does. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. They're hoping to get to yeah. go see Bernice. Huh? They're hoping to get to go and see Bernice. Now that's Grandma. She that's is Bernice. Oh, yeah. That's uh -huh. your Aunt Rose. Yeah. You need your glasses? Yeah, my wife. Yeah. There. Yeah, Bernice lives with Love Lady. Yeah. Lady. Yeah, have you, have you got their address, her no. address? Can you, can you yeah. see it? Yes. I got her telephone. No, it's Kevin's telephone number. Well, she lives with Kevin, don't she? Yeah. Yeah. Does mm -hmm. she look like your mother? Just exactly I mean, like yeah. my, my mother. She looks, yeah. She certainly does. It's what Frank can see. Yeah, mm -hmm. we come by and saw them. There's two pictures yeah, of them there. Yeah, how's she doing? They said she looked well, like Aunt Liza. Yes, she does. Look just like Mama, Johnny. Now, this is this is Sherman and his wife. Sherman out now. Which one is that? Yeah. This, that's, that's the oldest boy. Oh, that's the one in the uh -huh. paper. That's is the this? one they think you fit. That's like Rose? Yeah. Oh, it is? Don't she look like Ma? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, best I can tell, look like. Well, she yeah, it's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? Quite a bit, quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, when Uncle Frank seen it, he said, this, this looks like Frank. This one is I mean, my mother. I mean, this looks like Hickman. It was Hester. Yeah. Everybody Hester says my mother. Yeah, I've heard of it. Okay, that's, this is her and my daddy. And then this is Helena and her husband. That's this one over here. Yeah. I don't have any pictures of the rest of them. I know. Joe, you got a picture got of Joe. That. You I remember me talk, now, telling you about going by and seeing Joe Whitaker? Yeah, Joe Whitaker. Uh -huh. yeah, well, that's Joe. that's her brother. That's Helena's there you, brother. There you okay. Now, Joe looks a little like your brother Frank. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Let's I see if I can tell him. Yeah, we'll see him. Oh, here's yeah, we went to see him. Here's I've got some real good pictures of Joe This is Iva. She was the youngest and, girl. And she got her in a car wreck. Yeah. And, what, and sometimes there's when I that's the think grandma, Aunt Rose. Rose. Yeah. Your Aunt Rose. And this is Flossie. Yeah. I'm here talking about Flossie. Okay. And then this one. Yeah, Uncle Frank. This is Castor. That's my mother. Flossie and all of that. And Joe. Is this Joe in the That's Joe in the middle. Oh, good. And good. this is Helena. Well, yeah. and this the youngest, is Sherman. Guess, you know, the young. The and this is Junior. And then there's Grandma down there with them. Oh. And you can't hardly see these, but that's Mom, my mother, Hester, out front there. Yeah. That's Junior and Grandma, and I believe that's, is that Sherman yeah, back Sherman. there? I think that's Sherman back there. Here he is. And this is, this must have been somebody's birthday. Uh, that's Jesse, Helena's husband, yeah. and Helena. And that's my mama, Hester, and, and my daddy. And that's Sherman and his wife, Molly. So. Yeah, I'm kind of, kind of a little bit. Uh -huh. You can tell everybody's kin. <laughs>
right around the third, I think, of February. Mm -hmm. And he would have been 98. You know, that was a kind of peculiar. Mm -hmm. death. We had just carried him over there to Seals mm -hmm. the old folks home. Called Valmy, and that's where she couldn't take care of him. And everything, of course, done with us, I was sure he not like it is about Frank. Well, we we taking care of his business as long as we could. Mm -hmm. That's it. And so, in a week. One week to the day. Carried him on by his past two days. Mm -hmm. well, now, he'd been in that home. It wasn't a week. He'd been yeah. in that home before. One week to the day. He'd been in there one week to the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know what, what day y'all took him over there, because we yeah. didn't know he was over there. Yeah. Y'all thought they said Johnny. Y'all thought found Aunt Bemmy had contacted us, and she thought y'all did, and we didn't even know it was there until y'all called and told us he was dead. Yeah. Mm. They said that it's found him laying across the bed. Mm-hmm. Of course, I guess that's a good way to go, you know. Yeah. No struggle. No. <coughs> They said he wasn't sick. No, no, mm -hmm. he wasn't sick. Mm -mm. No, he, he, he get around a whole lot better than I can. I can't walk. He can walk up. Yeah. Oh, Papa get on top of the house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he had a three-wheel bicycle? He was right, I did, too. Yeah. Every time he got a chance, he was on it and gone. You had to watch him. <laughs> Your brother gets around good. Yeah, mm -hmm. but when you got where he, he's bad as I am, he's real stupid, ain't he? Uh, yeah, he's a little yeah. bit stupid. He just can't hear good, and and, and we wrote him notes, but yeah. uh, but he told us a lot of stuff. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, he preaches up there at home. Yeah, he you know. he was preaching the, today. <laughs> That's okay. Let him preach. Well, sure. He's been at it fifty two years. Oh, it's longer than that. Yeah, longer than that. Uh -huh. Thought he'd been up there about eight years. And he'd already been there. He's been there longer than eight years. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, mother's been dead. He's been there about 12 mother's years. Mother's been dead eight years. Huh? Mother's been dead eight years. I know. She mom. died in January of 85. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who was that? Mother. Yeah. And so he was in the home. Way before she died, yeah. she wasn't able to take care of him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's been in there about 10 or 11 years. Mm -hmm. He's been there a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't know. The older we get, we know what we're going to have. We know what we're going to have. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Let's hope we do. Yeah. Right. Well, I hope we land in the in the best in in, in, in the good place. <laughs> yeah. We can know. I, I want to on a march through them pearly gates. Yeah. We can so know if we're ready. Red. Hallelujah. Thank yeah. you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. This world not my home. I'm just passing through. Yes, That's sir. right. That's right. The treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the belief. There you go, brother. That's right. That's right. And boy, I mean, Papa preached it hard. I think in some ways he preached it too hard. But I look back now and see, and I say, well, I, I guess he knows what he was talking about. Because he really preached it hard, I'll tell you. That's really pretty hard. He felt, the, Frank, he Frank, felt the heartbeat of not getting there. Yeah. Frank, Frank, he, he preached it hard. Yeah. He preached it to them old people up there in the nursing home ever since he'd been up there. He'll preach to anybody to listen to him. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'd have given him half a chance. He'd, he'd oh, he got tore loose. He went I, I mean, I used to carry him in. John used to go even to a Baptist church up there at Camilla. And we got up there about the first thing we wanted, they wanted Frank to preach. Well, they ever asked him to testify, and that's it. Yeah, that's not it. it. <laughs> <laughs> if he ever got the floor, he took it over. <laughs> And, and I heard a man say, older man than Frank, I guess he's a yeah, is old in it. He said the the second or third word had to be something of what the Lord had done when he was talking. He said that was Frank Perkins. 
Mm-hmm. That was him made over and said, he always had to put in what the Lord had oh, made. Oh, yeah, we got to give him praise. How, how, how good he had been to, to us. Sure. How good he had been and what he, what he made. Well, I never did want to die. I always had a fear of dying. I don't know why, but I always have. Till I had this operation and come home. And I was sick. I mean, I was sick. And I come in here one morning, I told him, and I said, well, if the Lord ain't gonna heal me, I wish he'd take me on. Cause I was so sick, I didn't know mm. what to do. And I just sat here. So I guess he... Wasn't ready for you yet. No. 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 That's right. I'm still here. That's right. Still here. Mm-hmm. Well, we have to look for maybe, maybe there's purpose. Uh, there's a purpose. Yeah, it keeps us here. There's a purpose, and we need to just look for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I work for the state, and I think there about ten men that all re- they retired <coughs> since I retired, and I already did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The same job I worked on. Yeah. And now, what the Lord's keeping me up, I don't know. I'll never know. I'm not going to question it. No, because he's being in it. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes our patiently waiting is the witness he wants, you know what? Right. Declaring he's coming. That's right. Patiently waiting and declaring he's coming. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I know before Mother passed away, she was so sick right at the last that we wondered why that she lingered so long. But as long as she was able to talk and communicate, she witnessed yeah. laying on the hospital. And I said she witnessed to more people laying right there in that hospital, yeah. in the hospital bed. She was a witness right there, more mm-hmm. than she was uh, many. I mean, just years yeah. of her life. Other than, I mean, she lived a good Christian Christian mm-hmm. life. But she witnessed to everybody that came in the hospital room on what God had done for her. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, yeah. He's got a purpose in all things. Those nurses, there was one little nurse that waited on her. That when she passed away, that nurse sat there and held her and cried and cried. She was sitting right by her side yeah. when she passed away. And she sat there and cried and cried. She said, I've never seen a woman like this. Mm. And it really kept, the, it eased the pain for us. Mm-hmm. That little old nurse to be so. Yeah. She said, she, y'all's mama was a special person. So just the... 34 days she was in the hospital. My she goodness. Died. He said, she said, these 34 days has meant a lot to me. She was a little single girl. She wasn't married and she yeah. was from another state somewhere that had transferred in to Beaumont there at the hospital. She didn't hardly know anybody. Yeah. You know? But she was a really sweet little nurse. She stuck with mother. Mm-hmm. Boy, Captain, it's sung a mini song out on the street with Papa and Frank. When they, they, when they, you know, when they'd have street meeting, yeah. that what they call street meeting, they don't, you know, if you get a, you got to get a pass to do that. Now, if they let you do it, mm-hmm. even in town, from the mayor, you know, but then you didn't. You could just uh, get on the corner somewhere, you know, and get your old fiddle out and get your old guitar out. That's what Frank and Papa had. Mm-hmm. And Captain done the same. And I don't you know that. But some, and they done they, they it for the Lord. Yeah. But you know, she didn't sing much. When we was growing up, she mother never would sing. No, no, she didn't. She wouldn't sing it. I mean, she'd sing at home, but she didn't get up in church and sing. But I knew that she did when she was a girl. She'd get out and sing on the street. Yeah. Well, so I'm partial to her, I guess. <clears throat> But y'all, when they got together, they'd do the preaching to one another. Preach him, I preach him to the one. Yeah. But Uncle Frank and Aunt Bam is the one that got up in the pulpit to preach. Preach. But but we just got outside or anywhere and got out preaching. (laughs) Yeah. Y'all did. Yeah, I remember I'm about 12 years old, 12, 14 years old. 
And, you know, I, I always, when we used to come in church, and of course they didn't have a church like they have a church now, we had a big tent structure that they did at Farmersville, Cotton Yard. That's what I all got to say then. Come in one night in church, and I, I'll go make it to the safe. You know, we had the safe. We didn't have no ice boxes. Just had the safe to put the stuff I know yeah. on. Yeah. And so I made it there to get my, me something neat. But you know, I started dancing in the spirit of the Lord. And you know, I, I never did get that. <laughs> 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 you know, something hit me. Uh, I don't know where the Lord knew what would eat. <laughs> then I remember we were over Ace one night. We all, I had a station wagon. We'd load it up if we could. Everybody won't go to church. Wherever, wherever we want to go. You know? Yeah. Over on 146 or over Ace or wherever. But there's one place over there in the corner that got started and got started shouting. And boy, I mean, some of them would kick the shoes off. And get in that corner, they'd have their dark back. I mean, they would really get out. I'm telling you, I really got a blessing. You got over in that corner, too. Oh, yeah, I got in that corner. Hey. <laughs> Well, they took their shoes off and stand on holy ground. Yeah, holy ground. That's right. Yeah. What's that song, Brian, that corner where you are? <laughs> yeah. Where you are. Right in that corner where you are. Praise the Lord. I've been in a few of them where they took their yeah, shoes off, and you felt like you was on holy ground. Yeah. I've been in a few of them lately. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's some good feelings. When you can really feel the presence of God. Yeah, they never know better. Uh -uh. I wanted to see if I had a tape with with, with Susie. You know, our daughter leads the song service and sings too in church. Yeah. She's 20, 24. But uh, she sings that song a lot. You're standing on holy ground. Uh -huh. yeah. I love that song. We've got a little young girl in our church that sings that too. Those kids singing and the people get to shouting. Yeah, we used to have a good old shouting time. Of course, we have a few of them. They're <laughs> getting further and further. But the you know, the, 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 the yeah. God hasn't changed. We're the ones that change. That's, That's right. right. That's right. right. He had God hasn't one changed. Bit. We have, we're the ones that change. The same changed. God he is. Right. was yesterday. He's the same some God of the, all the way through. Some of the joys replaced his joy. That's right. That's right. Amen. Preacher's close. <laughs> yeah, he ain't no preacher, he just preaches at me. <laughs> I don't see you do it, so I just said preacher to do it, sir. Yeah. Our little grandson said he wanted to be a preacher, just like Papa. Yeah. Papa's not a preacher. <laughs> you know, one time they accused me of being a preacher. <laughs> they accused him of that, I too. To, I covered church. We was having, they was having a, what kind of meeting was it? It was a, they had colored folks put on a play. Yeah. And uh, we went over there. I believe our daughter was in it. Yeah, I know she was. Yeah. yeah. And we went over there and one, well, we worked at the wash there, and Hickman's always preaching. Uh, boy, I right. preached it where I went. <laughs> so one of the colored ladies, you know, she come up there at the wash there, and she'd heard Hickman. And so she thought he was a preacher. She <laughs> wanted him to get up on the roster with the rest of them up there. And Hickman told her, said, I'm no preacher. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what they used to get all the preachers to set up front. Wanted you up front with the rest of them, huh? Wanted me to get up front. Well, he was a preacher sitting right back there. said, I better go down to wash out. That's all you done with preaching. Well, when the preacher's there, you really, if you, and if you feel the anointing, you can. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure can. Yeah. I know that there are pre the many preachers that are called, but now we can all, if we really let the Lord use us, we can do our part. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Day then, nothing, nothing, no better than serving the Lord. We uh, the other day was riding along, my wife and I, this old song come to me, said it's. <laughs> It's fallen all around you, let it fall on you. It's yeah. fallen all around you, let it fall <laughs> on you. Yeah. Right. It's fallen all around you, let it fall on you. It's the Holy Ghost power, let it fall on you. That's yeah. right. It makes you mighty happy when it falls on you. You remember that? Yeah. I thought he had made it up. Well, I thought I was making it up. <laughs> I thought he had made it up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he, he had it broke. No, he didn't 
Magnet. Hey, he broke down on a piece of paper. I had to turn it to Frank a while ago and let Frank start reading it. And he liked to got happy right there. Well, I see the one I saw. That wasn't the one I let him read a while ago. So what was that one? Was send down the Holy Ghost in fire. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's the one he was. Yeah, you know, remember that one? Yeah. Send down the Holy Ghost in fire. Yes. Sir. <laughs> Lord, send down the Holy Ghost in Sometimes fire. Sometimes I think he makes them up. <laughs> I remember that too, but if people get happy and you get to shout and dance in the spirit. Oh yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know I don't know about Sister Mary. She came running, looking for her Lord. Sister Mary, I said, way back there. Have you heard that one? No, I don't no, think so. You've been learning. You'll have to get up and say it. They're looking for her Lord, and her Lord, bear the spirit on. He rode down the hill. Yeah, and that's what I was talking about. Yeah. 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 Y
But Balaam, even after, you know, after that, he asked the Lord, he says, the Lord says, can I go? And the Lord says, no, Balaam, don't go. Yeah. Well, then after he went, he still prophesied only the words that God gave him. So he told that old king, so I can't do anything but prophesy the words that God gives me. And he prophesied against the king, but what he did while he was there, he caused the children of Israel to come and hoard them with, with, uh, with the gods of, with the other gods and go into uh, idolatry and uh, yeah. fornication and adultery they went into yeah. at that yeah. time. So, yeah. so when we see these things that happen, the examples in the Word, it's, it's, it's not new. It's, well, we just got to keep our eyes on on the, on the Lord, that's right. I, 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 many times in teaching, I teach Sunday school. I teach, I teach, and I, and and uh, Hebrews, the tenth chapter, I think it's around the thirty-third verse or somewhere. The Apostle Paul, he says, some of you, a little past the thirty-third verse, he says, some of you have were at one time gladly had your property confiscated for the cause of Christ, and some of you are still with those who were imprisoned. But he says, don't don't give up your faith. Don't give up the hope. Press on. Keep on. He's coming back. He's coming. Coming in the cloud. You know what I what I hear about what I hear you. Mama say one time. She said, I'd like to be standing. And mama was standing. You know, she buried down. Mm-hmm. I've heard mother say that. She said she'd like when to be When Jesus standing. comes in his power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she said, said I'd catch a whole brave stir. Yeah. <laughs> I went away from But they're going to come out of that grave together now. Yeah, that grave will come in. It'll burst. All the saints will come out. And then there in the main remains will go up. Praise the Lord. I just hope I make it. Hope I make it. And there's no use in doubting you ain't going to make it. You believe the word. You got your hand in the hand of him. Well, that's where the, that's where the Holy Ghost needs to be alive in our lives every day. Because uh, 1 Corinthians, the second chapter, I think it's the 11th verse, says that uh, the old writers wrote, eyes not seen and ears not heard, and he was entered the heart of man what God has prepared for them to love him. But the next verse, I think the 12th verse says, but the Holy Spirit wants to make these things real to us. And that's where we really need to be. That's right. Forever in the Spirit. That's right. The Holy Spirit today will make those things become alive and real to us today. That's right. Wants to. Yeah. Just like with the apostles. Because yeah. they could go out and say, here's my, here's my head. They did it. That's right. They did it. And they would beheaded him. And then we can't stand a little pain and a little, little you know. But, but we do. We do. Yeah. We just need to learn to praise the Lord in it, though. You know what? Mm -hmm. <coughs> do you know anything about um, any of your uh, mother's sisters and brothers? Yeah. Oh, I know about Uncle Will. Yeah, I know. Know about him? Did you know? Did you know? Uh, did you know? Uh, Aunt Liz? No. Uh-uh. No, no, Grandma's only told me one or two little things about Aunt Lizzie. Yeah. Did you know her? Oh well, yeah. Tell me about her. <laughs> well, uh, she, she was, you know, her her her, her complaint and everything was kind of like. Her they, 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 all favored. They, they all favored. Yeah, they all favored. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And where she was buried, I don't know where she was buried at Royal City or where she was buried at Farmersville. But most of Thomas is buried at Farmersville. She's buried in Uncle Will's lot. Mm -hmm. Aunt Lizzie is? Yeah. Who is? She's buried in Uncle Will's lot. Yeah, in, in Farmersville. I've seen her. Ain't Ellen? Do you know anything about? Did no. Ain't uh, Ellen? You see, she married the second time. She married a canard the first time. Then the next time she married, I don't know. Did you? she marry a Johnson? Might have. Might have been a Johnson. She had some children. Yeah. 
No, the last time she married. Yeah, last time she had two children. Florence was the only one. Uh, her kid that I, uh, her kids that I recollect. She was. And I a, guess that was the only one. She was by Denard, wasn't she? Yeah, Florence was. I think she had some of this Johnson. I believe she did. My I believe that's who Mimi said that she married like the Johnson. Uncle Will, he's. Well, I, I guess y'all y'all know about Carly and, yeah. and the rest of the uh, uh -huh. younger uh, uh, Uncle Will's. Yeah, we we knew about them. We kept in contact with them, but well, we but didn't. That girl, y'all didn't keep too much in contact with her, did? Who? Or did you know? Who? May, May. No, we her. didn't know her. We didn't know her. Carly and Bernice was going to take Hickman up yeah. there to see all of y'all. So we're yeah. going to take y'all up there. We're all going to see y'all. Well, he should have come. Yeah. But he got sick, I guess. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, he got sick. Mm -hmm. Bad sick. Bernice is bragging so much about Hickman. She said, you don't want to talk to Hickman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really love him. I don't mind him. I'd like to go by and see Bernice. And yeah. She lives a little lady, I guess. She did yeah. live there at, at, at the, one of the boys with one of the, the boys. Cabin. Cabin, yeah. Mm -hmm. Love lady. Do you know anything about Jimmy and Jerry? Yeah. Jerry lives on the, uh, one of them lives in Dallas. Son? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, Jerry lives at uh, Wolf City. Wolf City, yeah. On uh, his granddaddy's place. On his granddaddy. Mm -hmm. Granddaddy Roselle. Roselle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kevin lives at Love Lady, and uh, Jimmy lives at Garland, I believe. Yeah. I believe that's where Jimmy lives at. He's not in Greenville? No. Uh -uh. In Garland. In Garland. Mm -hmm. it, that's between that's Dallas. close to Dallas, isn't it? Uh-huh. Yeah. Dallas, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they say you don't know when you go out of Garland into Dallas. Yeah, it's just, just mm -hmm. an outskirt of Dallas. Grandma and Grandpa. Uh, tell me about about uh, your grandma and grandpa. Uh, oh, Thomas. Yeah. 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 I never did know them about grandma at all. You, you did. I, I did. I did. Uh, grandpa. Yeah. Yeah. No grandpa. Uh, grandpa. He, he walked around with, with a stick. He had a cane. You know. He walked around with. A cane. He was a heavy set man and had yeah. a had a scar up here on his head like. Um, you know. He he fought it in in the war. Yeah. And uh, fought against his own brother. You know, the freeing the, the colored people or something about it. Yeah. Exactly. And anyhow, he went and fought against his own brother. And that was, what was his name? Horrible. Horrible. Yeah. Horrible. Uh, Grandma told us that she knew that he fought for the North. Yeah. Because she said that her mother made uh, them the kids clothes out of his uniform. And she said it was blue with gold buttons. So she said she knew he fought for the North, and, and Uncle Orville fought for the South. Yeah. And Sarah hid the kids from him. So, so she decided she wasn't going, so she took the kids and hid them so he couldn't take them either. And the way Grandma talked, she was mean to the kids. She, she would walk off and leave them nothing to eat and, and Roscoe said Jim set the house on fire and he, he had to get him out of the fire. Well grandma said they lived on onions. Onions, eat onions. Eat onions, onions. live. Cause she walked off and left them. Leave that door open, I got that heater burning in there. Uh, Uncle Joe, you know, I don't know what was wrong with, I never did understand what was wrong with Uncle Joe. Uh, Uncle Will and Aunt Mag, uh, I met that family. <coughs> Uncle Joe, the last time I knew him, he always stayed up at the barn. He always stayed yeah, up. that's what they said. I wonder why. Stayed up why. at the barn and, and had his food and everything. Stayed up there at the barn all the time. <laughs> that sounds kind of strange, don't yeah, it? it does. Well, that's after he lost everything, wasn't he? Yeah, he lost everything. He, 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 he was a cotton buyer. Yeah. See, he bought up all that cotton. And you see, then, then the bottom fell out and he lost everything. And uh, Uncle Will, well, instead of being a cotton buyer, 
he bought a place over in Royce City. Yeah. And he was a cotton grower, you know. Yeah. And then he come back to Farmersville, and that's where he was growing cotton at Farmersville. And that's where Uncle Joe come to me. Yeah. What was that you was asking me that I, to find out? I don't remember the name. Uh, somebody that stayed with... Uh, well, IT stayed, then IT stayed with Mike and Uncle Will, didn't it? It did. For a long time. Yeah. But there was somebody else you was asking that, and I, uh, I was oh. asking if uh, Aunt Liz lived with uh, Grandpa. He said, yes, she did. Her and Mamie and all of them lived. Yeah, they all lived together. Yeah. Okay. In a home place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess it was. It was the home was place. Their home place. Yeah. They all lived together. You know, Aunt Mam, she was she was insane. Yes, you she went went crazy, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just crazy yeah. too. I, I, I don't know why, you know, really. Yes. But she married his uncle. He called yeah. Aunt Mam. Uncle Ice. He married the uh, IT, didn't he? Uh, yeah, IT. Mm -hmm. She married him, and that made her his uncle. But she's already his cousin, <laughs> and then, <laughs> then his aunt. Oh. That's the reason Look, look at our Uncle Will's kids. Now we all the double first cousins. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's we're right. All the double first cousin. Mm -hmm. Cause that bang, you see that that's Papa's sister. Now yeah. the way it was Mama's brother. Yeah. And so that made us double, you know, double, double first cousin. Uh huh. Okay, <clears throat> tell them how Edna comes in. Edna Lee. Yeah. Well, uh, <coughs> it, uh. Edna's daddy married Hickman's daddy's sister. Hey, Jesse. Okay, and, and Edna's daddy and your daddy was brother. Was brothers. Yeah. See, me and Hickman was come right near being kinfolk. Yeah. <laughs> By marriage, you are. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Well, what was Jesse? What was her daddy's name? My it daddy's Edna's, name was Joseph. Edna's daddy. What was Edna's that? daddy? Uh, Harrison A. Day. Harrison A. Day, yeah. I'm hearing many talk about yeah. Little fella. I went to church one time, Farmer's Bill, and he played the organ. Yeah, little short fella. Yeah. Harrison A. Day played the organ. Yeah. Morning I went to church. Huh. Oh, I knew she was kin to the Parkinson's. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and she yeah. was candy on your side of the family, yeah. but I didn't know how she fit in. Her mother was a Perkins. And where does, where does Jesse Faye live? I couldn't think of the town. I didn't well, know yeah, she did, did live at Duncanville, but they bought... Um, no, they moved to the lake house. Where yeah, did that down at? there somewhere. I really don't know. I've got it wrote down, I know. Edna has told me a many a time, and I can't think of the yeah. name of the place right now. I think it's about a six-hour drive from... From Edna's. Edna. Yeah, yeah, it's a good little it's a good little run. They walked down there, close to Waco, somewhere down in there, wasn't it? Austin or somewhere? It, I, can't I really think don't of the know. Name of that town. It's not Waco or Austin. It may be down in that area. Yeah. I can't think of it. I really don't know. I've heard Edna call them. Yeah, I have. But I don't know. Have you heard from Edna lately? Yes, yeah, she called me. Right after I come out of the hospital. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was getting ready for her and Paul to go to Plano to eat. Oh, they was going out to eat, huh? Yeah. I had got a card from her a few weeks ago. I had wrote her and told her when, when I found out they were coming. I like wrote her a card and told her, and she wants me, I keep in touch with her, let her have, know how Janine's doing. Yeah. yeah. Well, how is your name? She's doing real good. Well, that's good. She went back to Galveston Monday, and or Tuesday, Monday, and had some te had all of her blood work and stuff done. And yeah. Her blood pressure was up some this time, but she has. They have to just learn to to uh, adjust her medication to keep all of her body chemicals. Uh huh. Uh, well, how's it? Right. Yeah. How's Cabin? Yeah. The boy. Janine's boy. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. He ain't had he ain't had more seizures. 
Mm-mm. Oh no, he's you know he went back to work and everything. He did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He went back to work in um, November, mm-hmm. and he's been working ever since. He lives with Ronnie. He lives, does what? Lives with Ronnie. Oh. Yeah. You know Janine lives in the trailer house at Vote Tile up there by Dottie. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, of course that she's got the big house rented out. Yeah. And then Ronnie has the trailer house down there behind Janine's big house. Mm-hmm. And Buck moved in with him. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. So, he lives with him and works every day. Mm-hmm. He's doing fine. Well, now Roger didn't kill a little bit of family road, then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, even his family. See, too. Roger didn't, he, he's just uh, a half brother to the other boy. Mm-hmm. How oh, is Winnette? Doing fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she came over last night when they got there. She came over and Annette and Joe came over and yeah. visited with them. And then Winnette called me this morning. She was going with Janine to Livingston this morning. And uh, said they'd be back this afternoon so we can get to go see. Well, we saw one yet, but they hadn't got to meet Janine yet. Yeah. And so, yeah. They didn't get to meet none of my kids either. No. 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 Joyce came over, and uh, I had called Joyce and I told her, and told her, I said, see if you can get Frances to come over, but she was dressed, they was fixing to work in the garden or do something, her and EC. Yeah and said that she didn't think she'd come. Mm-hmm. So I told them we've, we've got a few minutes, we're gonna ride back by there and they can see where she lives and all, and if we yeah. don't have time to stop. I'm where sure. do your children live? Well, Frances, one she, we're talking about now, she lives down there at Thicket yeah. by Joyce. But my baby girl lives over here in, at uh, Shepherd. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And she's not gonna get to come back by this evening, huh? You said she had a beauty shop appointment after she left here this morning. Yeah, she had that. Mm-hmm. She she felt sick this morning. Mm-hmm. So she just went left the beauty shop and went home. She was cold. Mm-hmm. She couldn't get warm. Hope she's not taking that old flu. Yeah. That's pretty chilly after this. Huh? Look at me. Take your bread down. Look at me. Take your bread. Get in your way, Dave. See, you, 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 tell me what your name is, will you? Tell me what, tell me what your name is. <laughs> what is all your name? Tell them. They don't know all your name. There'll be another little summer probably look at this, okay? <laughs> he's, he's got a little, they got a little summer they're going to take it and show to. A little girl. What's your name? Tell them what all your name is and she can see it and hear you on the video.